Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday, the 5th of November, 2013. Yes, indeed, I'm back. Sorry for my absence last week. Um, wasn't feeling particularly clever, I have to say. Uh, and then I had a few days in Scotland to make it worse. Um, but there you go, I'm back. Hello. Uh, we've got uh, some shenanigans coming up. We're going to look at this, which is the Pistola um, by Team Hotwire look at that very shortly uh, and uh, we're going to be looking uh, at a few news stories that have uh, been around about today and some rather interesting contentious videos you may have seen them already you may not but all that my friends is after what I like to call the titles Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid Yes, it is Tuesday, it is Vapor Scene, and I'm back in the chair, back in the studio. Very good evening to you all. And I hope there is not going to be any loud bangs and flashes and crashes from outside. They've been going off all night. Fireworks, obviously, since it is the 5th of November. Uh, yeah, there's been quite a lot of fireworks tonight. So if you do hear any uh, loud rumblings, it's not me, and I apologise in advance. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at uh, a couple of things today. We've got the... Uh, the Pistola, which we're going to look at uh, briefly, um, very shortly. Um, but I thought I'd start with some news stories that have been uh, going around. And Dave Dawn passed this to me earlier on. Um, Spain approves sale of e-cigarettes in tobacco stores. Bit of a uh, contentious article this in, uh, in Spain. Um, if I go to the next page, there we go. Um, they're not particularly happy. Some people are not particularly happy over there that... Uh, they're going to be sold alongside cigarettes as uh, smoking products. Uh, and uh, it is an interesting little story. The Observer in September published evidence that the Philip Morris Tobacco Company spent 140 million euros and deployed 161 lobbyists in a bid to mould the directive to its own interests. Well, we knew that one, didn't we? Um, the tobacco companies did spend an inordinate amount of money and trying to get things their way. Um, muddied our waters a little bit in the process. Uh, and uh, we all know that we got called all sorts of strange names and things like that, which wasn't strictly true. Um, so that was one story. I'll come back to the other story in a second, but I wanted to update you on my little visit with my MP, uh, Dan Jarvis, who I saw on the 25th of October. I was going to update you last week, but obviously, I wasn't on your screens last week, so I'm updating you now. Um, very interesting meeting with Dan. He's a very amenable chap. Uh, he is of a kind of same opinion-ish as Linda McEvan, uh, that there is some regulation that needs to be done. However, he's very open to the possibilities of e-cigs, and he's agreed quite nicely to send three parliamentary questions over to the Secretary or well, the Under Secretary of State for Health, which is Jane Ellison, uh, on my behalf. So I shall be tabling those questions to him this week, and he will therefore be giving them over to uh, Jane Ellison. And he does that. If I look on this little screen here, if you go to They Work For You, and if I go to this shot, hello, if you go to They Work For You, and here is where you find out who your MP is. You put your postcode in there, and it gives you who your MP is. If your MP asks any parliamentary questions, if you go here, that is where your questions appear and also the answers. And it's quite interesting if you go on to that little section, um, the answers that have already been given by various ministers on this subject. So I advise you all, go here, there, 
at workforyou.com and check out the, par the parliamentary questions. Uh, I will be sending those over to Dan this week and he will be tabling them. Jane Allison then has nine days in which to reply. Otherwise, apparently, she has to apologise to the House. Yeah. Um, so as soon as I get an update back on the uh, questions and answers, I will let you all know. Now then, the next little story was this one. Uh, and Dave Dawn put this up in our little Skype chat earlier on. Uh, and VIP have got some little adverts on the go. And I thought it would be interesting to have a little look. Yes, so um, I've kind of montaged them all together and cut out the end bits. Um, so um, have a little look and see what you think of them. Do you want to see it? I can get it out if you like. You can feel it, hold it, put it in your mouth and see how great it tastes. I want you to get it out so I can see it. And I want to touch it and feel it. Then I want to put it in my mouth so I can put my lips around it. Now, I, I, I want you to I want you to switch to the great taste of the IP. I want you to get it out. I want you to feel it, to touch it. I want you to put your hands all over it. I'm going to watch you do it. Then I want you to put it in your mouth. Wrap your lips around it and suck. It's going to taste so good. And then I want you... I want you to... I want you to switch to the great taste of VIP. I want you to get it out. I want to see it, feel it, hold it, put it in my mouth. I want to see how great it tastes. Mm. Yes. Interesting comments in chat, uh, and we've had quite a few comments uh, amongst ourselves in, in our little Skype chat, and we pretty much all agreed that they are so over the top. Now, from a production point of view, I think they're very well made, um, and at least they show the actual devices themselves, but over the top is not the word, is it? Um, is it a good thing, or is it a bad thing? I, I think it's probably pretty much a bad thing. I think they're probably going to turn more people off uh, than they are turning people on. Uh, and did you not think that the guy probably hasn't smoked or vaped, um, but the woman probably has? I kind of get that feeling. I don't know. Um, yes, interesting. I'm going to look in chat. Right? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Way, way OTT. Um, and I think they're probably not going to last too long on the screen. I think they might get taken off. But we shall see. We shall see what happens to them. Um, but, like I said, at least they do show the product, uh, which other adverts haven't so far. I don't know. It's a weird one. Um, but certainly very interesting. So they've showed, us, uh, they've showed us theirs. Let's have a look at this week's Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, a little bit of reggae on a Tuesday, <laughs> on a cold night. A bit of summer music. I like that tune. It's a very good tune. Um, yes, that was this week's show is yours. And Vaping Sam, I meant e cigs, of course. Dear boy, e cigs. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so who's won this week? It is. It's Andy Brooke, uh, also known as, oh, I'm trying to see what the name is there, uh, the Furious Fury 79 in chat. Yes, and uh, there's a strange fellow in the background there. I wonder who that is. Um, looks a bit like this, but with a different shirt on. <laughs> yeah, well, um, well done, Andy. I will send you an email after the show and you'll find out how you get your bottle of juice. And if you want to send me a picture, vaporscene at vapotrails.tv. Uh, we're going to keep this running for a uh, little while longer and then uh, think of something else. So, there you go. That was this week's show is yours. You know what to do if you want to get into next week's show is yours. Send me the picture by Tuesday noon and you should get into that week's show. So, let's very quickly look at the Pistola, which is lovelyly being held in place by my IKEA pencil. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll fall on the floor. Um, and it's a mechanical mod. And I'm, I'll do a, a, a better piece on this for next week's show. Um, but a little, a little look for you. And I've even a bit of an echo. I don't come too close to my microphone. But it is a three-part mod, basically. Top, bottom, and a tube. And the contacts here are little floating ones. They float about a bit. So they'll, they will take a different atty in the top, which is a 510 connection. Um, screw the top in. Do you need an arm's length to get it in the camera? Very good, isn't it? 18650 battery. Da -da. And the bottom goes on. It's as easy as peas, as someone else says. And then your fire button is just here. So uh, let's put something on it. Let's just go to me here. Hello. Uh, we'll put the uh, the smoke tank on. And there we go. Let's put it back into device cam. And there we are. Top on. The battery does move a little bit in the uh, in the tube, um, but it vapes rather well. So I'll do a little bit more on this um, for next week's show. That was just a little quick look uh, at the Pistola. And it's uh, by Team Hotwire in the Philippines from uh, UK e Store. But uh, I shall do a little longer piece for you for next week's show. Um, right, we're going to go into the ads right now. And when we come back, we've got the second part of the little DIY mixing tutorial type thing. Yeah, see you in two minutes. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And welcome indeed to part two. And I was just looking at chat there during the ads. <laughs> did I say smut tank? Uh, I did, of course, mean smock tank, if I did say that. I'll have to watch it back afterwards. Uh, yes, smock Pyrex tank I've got on the end of the pistola. Uh, and um, I do find it rather difficult because I've got big fingers um, to, uh, to get the button pushed in at the bottom. Um, and the cutout on the side I'm not sure why the cutout on the side is there. Maybe it's to vent, possibly. I don't know. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I shall, um, I'll do a longer piece for you uh, for next week's show, uh, a bit of pre-record. Uh, and um, go into a little bit more. That was just a little, a little tease, if you like. Um, so let's move on. Uh, and we're going to go on to the second in the uh, little series I did on DIY mixing, uh, the re-edited version. Oh yes. Um, so uh, here it is. Enjoy. And it's me again. Hello. In our second edition of the DIY mixing tutorial, if you like, uh, it's not really tutorial. It's more really showing you how we do things and if we do it different to you, or you do it different to us, that's fine. There's no kind of hard and fast way. What we're doing is showing you what we do. Uh, and if you haven't done it before, then this may well be of, of help to you. So last week we looked at the basics of what you needed. Syringes, nicotine, um, a dilutant such as vegetable glycerin or propylene glycol and the various bits of kit that you need. This week we're going to make a sample to test and what I generally do because let's face it things do cost money. Nicotine liquid costs money, flavorings cost money, glycerin costs money or propylene glycol costs money but probably the cheapest one of those is the dilutant, the vegetable glycerin or the propylene glycol. So what I tend to do when I make my samples, like I talked about last week, as in those, is I make them just with VG, so zero nick, because that's the cheapest way of doing it. And then if you make something really duff, um, you're not wasting too much money. It will change slightly when you do add the nicotine but from all the tests I've done in the past year 10 months um, is that it works quite well for me so I'm going to show you how I make mine um, and I would normally do a 5 mil sample but today I'm going to do a 10 mil sample of liquid that is <laughs> before chat goes mad with <laughs> samples I won't do the sample on camera <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this done you can do uh, one of two things you can either put your syringe straight into the bottle which I don't really generally do what I like to do is put some liquid into one of my containers so if I was making uh, one with nicotine I'd have nicotine in one and my dilutant in another Obviously make sure that before you start everything is clean. You've cleaned your hands, you've cleaned all your equipment with hot soapy water and given it a really good rinse. And that's because you don't want any contaminants in there. Um, everything has been cleaned and I'm just putting in here some of my pre-diluted vegetable glycerin. And this has been diluted with 20% vodka uh, and hopefully I will have my distilled water soon and I think that's going to be the way I'm going to go either distilled water or vodka um, and I did think about the possibility of inhaling alcohol but I think at the levels that 
20% is, it's uh, neither here nor there, to be fair, and the alcohol will probably be vaporized and go anyway. Um, so, I have here some vegetable glycerine, and I'm going to make this with totally vegetable glycerine, uh, and I'm going to use this Perfumer's Apprentice Dolce Leche, which is really, really nice, I have to say. So it'll it'll make quite a nice um, zero nick vape. And I've got behind me on my monitors, I have a spreadsheet which has got a calculator on it. I've also got this. Now, this is an app for the iPhone called eJuice. It's also available for the Android. So if you've got an iPad or an iPhone, this is really good. And the information that you can see on here is going to be exactly the same information that's going to be on the spreadsheet. So I'll just leave that up there for a second. Um, so ordinarily, because I use 75 milligram juice, I would need 3.2 milliliters of the Enic, 5.3 milliliters of the VG or PG if you use that and then 1.5 milliliters of the flavoring and that will equal my 10 milliliters. For this what I'm going to do is add the nicotine and the VG or PG numbers together so I'm making a zero nick juice. So 3.2 and 5.3 is 8.5 so we're going to use 8.5 millilitres of the VG and I'm using my 10 mil syringe I'm just going to put that in and pull out 8.5 mils get the bubble to the top I've actually got nine there, so I'm just going to push that down to 8.5. It's quite important that you get this reasonably correct. Um, doesn't matter so much with the zero nick, but with the the nicotine based, you need to be precise. Otherwise, you're not going to get the nicotine you expect. So. 8.5 millilitres. What I didn't talk about last week was these blunt needles. Very, very important um, for getting it out of here. Because the way I use the, the flavourings is pretty much like a doctor gets drugs out of a bottle. I use the blunt needle into the bottle and we need one and a half mils of this. So, as I explained last week, this is the same company and the same batch of syringes. So I know that these are the same. What you will find as you go on and as you clean these is that the writing rubs off so what you can do is just go over that with some clear nail varnish, leave it to dry and then that will stay off. And I haven't had any um, issues with any any flavour coming across or any of the nail varnish coming across. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're bothered about putting that on, uh, then when they rub off just get some new ones because they're fairly cheap. Um, that Dolce Leche smells really nice, <laughs> I have to say. Even with my cold, I can still smell it. Um, so you've now got two options, you can either put your flavouring into the bottle and then add your dilutant or add your dilutant and then your flavouring. It's entirely up to you. Um, you can put it into a little mixing cup first, mix it around and then put it in. Um, I prefer just to go straight into the bottle. Okay, I've added my flavour. I'm now going to add the glycerin and get this mixed, squirty squirty. And there we go. So that's our 10 mil sample. Give it a bit of a shake there. Um, it actually smells really, really nice. However, I'm not going to vape that today. 
what you need to do is something called steeping. Now those of you who mix already will understand what I mean um, but for those of you who haven't mixed yet um, steeping is making up your liquid and then leaving it for a couple of days for the flavours to steep, to mingle and this also allows for some of the more volatile parts of a flavouring to evaporate off and the flavours to deepen and mellow. Uh, it's very important if you're mixing flavours as well so if this was a, a two or three different flavour juice um, it would really allow them to, to mix and mingle uh, and if you remember that that I showed you last week you now that was a, the same colour ish um, but quite a long time afterwards it has darkened and the flavours have really intensified and you'll see that in your own juice as well um, that you've bought it does change colour as it gets older as the oxygen works on the juice um, so I generally leave my juices for a couple of days with no lid on somewhere cool and dark uh, and if it does have nicotine please make sure it's out of the reach of pets or children um, because you don't want um, it to be knocked over and a, and a cat or a dog or whatever to um, get the nicotine juice on their paws or lick it uh, and the same for kids we don't want them to be oh that smells nice and and drinking it because they think it's a drink and um, so please be careful uh, obviously I don't need to tell you that but I will anyway um, so that is how to make a basic one flavor e-liquid so there you go uh, a one flavor e-liquid um, do you want more I've got some uh, of the uh, other stuff as well I've also got some of Kat and Sav who did some uh, menthol mixing yes so I can um, get those back up if you would like those tell me about that in chat I was just looking in chat there yeah there's uh, lots of places where you can get um, up to 75 milligram which is the legal limit for this country um, a few places in the States and also in China and the last litre I got was around about 52 pounds including the delivery uh, and that was for a litre but I could have got 10 litres uh, I think litres get through reasonably well uh, and there was some duty on that as well um, which you know you need to factor in always factor in the duty because it is your legal responsibility to pay the duty on imported products yes so there you go uh, just looking in there yes okay let me just fill you in on uh, what is going on the rest of the week don't forget that tomorrow night well tonight uh, if you're a German speaker tune in for uh, DE talk which is on in around about 14 minutes uh, if you're not a German speaker you can carry on the fun over on RY4 radio and then tomorrow night VT talk with Dave and Sav I'm just seeing if there's anything in my chat uh, no um, so uh, VT talk tomorrow night uh, Thursday the Hayes hour Sunday of course it is Dave's tackle box with Mr Kitson and Monday it is tin your tip with Gary and Mark and hopefully Gary will have got over those videos and will have his trousers on I will see you next week on Tuesday for the next edition which is the 50th show yes 50th show of va uh, Vapor Scene uh, so until then have fun I'm looking for my credits there they are I will see you next week tati bye Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>